You ready to rock? You ready to get rock solid? Like, I'm, I'm assuming the main protagonist in your book. I mean, where we edit this, yeah? We all agree on what should be kept in and should be... Yeah. You've got, yeah, once, once you're on the mic, there's no going back. Oh, my God. There's <laughs> no <Slow> cutting here. <laughs> well, No, trust me. You've got Dalvin next year. There'll be some cutting. Hey, I'm allowed, we're allowed to say cock now. Thank you so much. Well, was it, well, in, we was it in question? Was that up? Initially, yeah. Oh. It's the start. She was, was a bit of a princess at the start. She was just soft. We had to, not, we had to, we had to thicken her skin up a little bit. You now, know what I mean? you can now she's a mongrel say dog. Say anything. Say cock as many times as you want. Louisa. Yeah, well, that's what so I mean. Sorry. That's two. Yeah. So sorry. The cock Who's count. That's three. Uh, I met your mum the other day. Speaking uh, of, <laughs> speaking of saying the wrong thing in front of people. <laughs> okay, good save. <laughs> and then when we wa- when she talk. walked away, and we got a photo. Your mum and I, Jill, got a photo. And she walked away, and you referenced your night mask that you wear. Says, and it's got a different c word on it. No, oh. It's not crap. It's dirtier than that. Is it? It's commitment. <laughs> but then there's. Night commitment. Yeah. Night commitment. Night commitment. Night commitment. Night commitment. Night commitment. No night commitments. <laughs> <laughs> what are your night commitments? Well, <laughs> well we're know, talking about. I've got to have my my white. And, oh, yeah. What do you mean? What? Nothing. Nothing. My Tell white noise. That. Yeah. What my air con going. What else? My koala Kevin under my arm. Yeah, koala yeah. Kevin. What mm-hmm. else? Yep. The eye mask. Yeah, that, what, either what? the squishy one or the one that says night cunts. Yeah. What else? It, that's about it. Oh. Okay. Nothing else that needs to be said on here. Very lonely. No, yeah. she's got the womanizer. Huh? <laughs> three thousand. <000. laughs> the womanizer, three thousand. I think I'm only up to the two thousand. Oh, yeah. Probably due it up. Oh, well, I know oh, what I'm getting you for Christmas. Oh, no, but there's, there's two kind <laughs> of you. Did the, could you do a package deal with the calendars? Yeah. Big fan of the calendar. Big mm-hmm. fan of Middle Kid Day. Because mm-hmm. I'm the middle kid. Same. In in a in a family, I've got two sisters. <laughs> yep. Treated badly my whole life. I, Disgraceful, I, I, isn't I, it? Oh. I couldn't think of anything worse you than know, being a middle child. That's why they make so much noise. Because no one cares about them. Mm. Correct. You can tell it in yeah, both of you. We had the first one. We're excited about that. We've got you. Yeah. Yeah. Now we need to plan for the next one. Yeah. So you're amongst celebration and planning. Yeah, you've got the first, yeah. who is the, oh my God, our firstborn. Piece mm-hmm. of shit. Yeah. In the middle. Then the baby. Yep. So it's like. Okay. It's like, that's the baby forever treasured. Piece that's of the shit. old one. Me. You're the human piece, piece of, of shit. shit. Yeah, I'm the baby. Hence why you've yeah. turned out how you are. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. I was about to say, should we, we should probably intro introduce who we've got. our guest. Well, probably doesn't need it. The, the, the man, <laughs> the myth, the legend. We've got Michael Whipley, a.k.a. Whipper, from the Fitzy and Whipper Show. And, Welcome, Whip. And the new author of The Far Too Personal Trainer. Written, it says written as Ben Holder. Written as Ben Holder. Run me through that. Uh, ben is the character in the book. So With those legs? They're Matt DeGroote's legs. <laughs> um, I auditioned for the front cover of the book. Um, I was voted out because my legs were too hairy. Too Italian. Mm-hmm. Um, too Italian, <laughs> just big hairy sausage. Lou has the same issue. Yes, if, <laughs> you could if see we here. had photos in the book of that. <laughs> but my legs were considered too hairy. Okay. Yeah. MDG. He volunteered, our yep. newsreader. He's got a nice, what's that muscle just above the knee? The cock. No, no, no. No, no you, you can't. That's five. Is that his region, his area? <laughs> that's his package, yeah. Well, just um, wondering. His body. Well, I just thought they may have just had his legs and then photoshopped uh, in someone else's I, package. I asked him where his calf muscles went, and he said, that's been an issue <laughs> with me for years. Is that right? So I said, sorry about that. We'll boost it in post, but we didn't bother. You did it, nah. Funds. Yeah, it sort of goes calf is. straight into quad. Like, yeah. Not, you don't you want know? that. You don't want that. Um, so, gorgeous. Mate, you're here, of course, because you're a friend of yeah. both of ours, or a former of, colleague. More of yours. Well, more of definitely so, more of mine. Sorry. Uh, you also got a book out. Well, I used to work in breakfast radio with Whipper. Sorry? Did, you knew I worked with Whipper? No. no. Jack worked at Nova. I worked at Nova. In the sales department. Sales department. So you... So I was... I was did you of, do work experience? I was one of you, your pro- producers for... You had an exchange there or something, did you? Almost two years. Sorry? You don't Not remember me? Not on my me? record. Was no, that American right. Rosso? No, oh, that would have been early 2000s. American Rosso. No, no, it was, it was, it was you. I wasn't there then. Fitzy and no. Whipper. I, I, you used to um, text me every morning saying, bang, bang, and that was my cue to go and get you a coffee. I've, I'm so sorry. I have no <laughs> idea what you're talking I'm about. So sometimes sorry, you'd mate. push she down does the. This. No, she does. Does this happen this. a lot? Sometimes you'd push so down sorry. the microphone button and go, bang, bang, Lulu. And that was another cue for me to go and get you a coffee. I know 
Jack. Like we're yeah, mates. We grew we're up together. Correct. In, um, in um, Will Wilk- uh, Wilkapong. Wilk- yeah. Oh, your farm yeah. guy. Wilk- and you're Jack- a farm guy, are you? Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you, you <laughs> rousing no. and ca- rousing I'm cattle? I'm uncomfortable being here. If I seem on edge, it's because I'm in the big smoke. But <laughs> Jack and I, we bloody <laughs> remember that day we met. And the bloody yeah. I'd fallen out of the. Tractor. tractor, yeah, I remember that, mate. I got, got come up on the floor being yeah, yeah, fucking, and you're you in all sorts in. of sh- fucking trouble. And the bloody tractor got a flat, I, um, <laughs> and Jack was back at the ranch just washing the dust out of the back of the throat with a couple of tins, and I was, I whistled in danger. I'm certain you You would from use a flare <laughs> in the big smoke. Yeah, sure, you, sure you're from Melbourne? No, no, no. Are you from su- su- suburban yeah. Melbourne? He's from Wilkatonia. Wilk- Wilk- Wilkatonia. 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 Okay. And Jack heard the whistle. <laughs> Kicked a dingo off his foot. Yeah, so get off there, you chewed, fucking, you fucking sandy prick. Chewed the guts out of a snake. Yeah. Remember that? Oh fuck yeah. Spitting, um, spitting skin <laughs> when you turned up. And the bloody tractor had done a tire. We wrote a letter that night, dear John Deere. <laughs> you bloody, you, you bloody dear, you dear. <laughs> the old, the old dear had died. Oh well, this must have been, <laughs> this must have been prior to your breakfast radio days. Oh, you should do your research on your bloody guests, love. Yeah, if you'd work in breakfast radio, you'd know. You'd that. know like, that. If you'd work with Whip. I'll tell you about a girl that did work there once. Yeah, could you spin a quick yarn about well, sh- one of the worst employees you've ever had? It was quite interesting, yeah. and this is why she doesn't work there anymore. I'll tell you this tale. I don't know who it's about. I love it. It was probably one of the most devastating moments for one of Australia's most loved groups. Yeah. It was the Wiggles. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was so, going to say the disbandment of Bardot. No. Okay. No, that didn't rank in the top ten, <laughs> um, unfortunately. And Craig McLaughlin's check one, two didn't make the list either. <laughs> We're going back now. But the Wiggles, um, uh, Anthony, the blue wiggle, yeah, he you. got booked um, to come on the show. He was excited. Our producer at the time said, yeah. come on for a chat. Nameless. Yeah, come on for a chat. The boys that love to have you on. Fitzy's a fan, Whippers a fan. Get in here, you silly wiggle. You <laughs> anyway, salad and breakfast. Right yeah. Here. When the wiggle arrived, Anthony, what he didn't know was, and Lou didn't even mention, sorry, the producer at the time didn't even mention it, yeah, that so. we've got you in for hide and sing, which is a booth where you come in, we don't know who's there, and the clues are in the song. You have to sing. So when he got to the studio and we wa- welcomed him through and you've got to hide in there, obviously I don't know who's going into the booth, he turns around to our other producer, Tom, and says, what am I doing here? <laughs> and Tom says, well, you get in there and you sing. And he went, but I don't sing. What? So the blue wiggle. He's a fucking wiggle. No. Doesn't sing. The blue wiggle does not sing. Wiggle doesn't sing. So it was then revealed on air for the very first time when he attempted to sing in the booth to play along because he's a good sport. That the blue wiggle does it's not sing. Holy shit. Exposed. Ruined a childhood. You shattered star. the dreams of every child that grew up with the wiggles <laughs> because you put Anthony on the spot. He's that never worn his skivvy moment, again. Is that why you've worn blue today in re- remembrance? Yes, for Anthony. <laughs> that moment is like so vivid in my brains of when I put him into the booth. and Because you talk to the PR person beforehand. And so I was telling her, and she obviously didn't relate it. No. <laughs> Shifting the blame, Dal, no, then they no. called her mm. back and in the day. And he goes in, and Jess and I are in the producer's booth. And then I think Tom goes, take oh, it away, me. guest number one. Oh, like, yes. <laughs> and then he goes, me? I don't sing. And then everyone was like, live, like, what the fuck do I do? And I'm in the background, like, as if it's, like, live, like, I'm a surgeon. Like, trying yeah, to, like, yeah, cut yeah, someone yeah. open. I'm going, no! And then Jess and I are like, no! It's called hide and sing. So you've hide done the sing. first bit. We can't yeah. see your face. He, he's hidden, Holy but there's no shit. singing. Now on to the next bit. <laughs> but I don't sing, but you're a wiggle. Mm. I didn't think I was doing this. Producer award goes to. Not to mention <laughs> the time you spent eight hours trying to get Morgan Freeman on the show after we told you he was Australian. <sighs> Oh. And then you honestly thought Don Perrette, the premier at the time, was Don Perignon, the, the champagne. That's good stuff. Tom was like, you can just you went get- on and on and on. <laughs> Tom said, can you get Don Perrette on? And I was Googling, going, I fucking cannot find him. Apparently he died Dom in the Perignon. 1800s. And I had to say to Tom, I can't find the, the champagne owner. And he's like, that's not who we're it after. Just, it was day in, day out. Oh, oh, she, and fuck. she knew, didn't know anybody. With so she'd come into the studio and go, do you guys want to get uh, this actress Nicole Kidman on? <laughs> would you want her on? <laughs> I don't know, Lou. Would it be Nicole Kidman? <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> All right. How much who's this George one, Clooney? 
what the time I said to you poses? someone who was dead. I must have gone and done research trying to like bring ideas to the show, and I was like, mm. oh, if you want a rapper, guy. we could get Tupac on, or you Boogie. won't get him. You Boogie won't get him Tupac. again. That's not going to work. And then I no, this was my favourite thing. They'd tell me Whipper would tell me things that weren't true, and he goes to me one day. He goes, oh, "You're a good producer." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> Whipper goes to me Oh you know We just We've hired a personal chef You know <coughs> He goes It's just getting too much For us at home So tonight We're either deciding We're going to have sashimi Or you know Burgers or something And I was like What the fuck That's so cool and Whipper goes You know Paying him 150 grand For the year or something And then I think you even took A fake phone call And was like Mate I fucking asked for For cheeseburgers Or something I said yeah. Salmon <laughs> <laughs> I was on the phone to my mum like an hour later and was like, oh my God, like Whipper's got a chef. So epic. <laughs> right, next you, day. You also thought I'd come a long way since oh, my yes. heroin addiction. <laughs> <laughs> when I first started, Whipper goes, oh. Whipper goes, oh yeah, you know, I've come, I've come a long way. I used to oh. shoot up, shoot up before the shows. So then my oh. Google search is Whipper heroin addiction. Oh my like, God, we gee. should not make fun of addiction. <laughs> no, we're not. We make fun of fools. We're we make fun of fools. And then I was on the phone to my mum being like, oh, I didn't realise like Whipper had it really tough for Oh, a while. the joker's on the blue wiggle over here. <laughs> oh, my God, you were good. Lou did work oh. at Nova. She did. She did. I, d- I was a breakfast producer in front of you, didn't Jesus know. Christ. Yeah, yeah right. you, well, well, you should have mentioned it. You learn something new every day. Oh, my God. But in all honesty, oh, fuck the old man. Milo, I'll talk to you later, mate. I wasn't... Um, um, I but wasn't a good producer, but I was good for morale and vibe. Yeah, you were the vibe girl. I've yeah. been told that before yeah. about working in corporate yeah. environments. It's the only thing we're good for. We but what? Because um, you've worked with us both mm. at Nova, respectively. So who was your favourite? Uh, do, uh, don't. We can't do this. Yeah, it's obviously me. Two well, years I mean, together. If you looked at moments spent together, there was some dark times. C- correct. So. For you, were all pretty light. It was all highs. All highs. We were 100%. Do you want me to go into it? <laughs> Do you want me to mention it? <laughs> what is this the. Are you going to say. You want me to. Yeah, I do. There was a time Lou and I were in a meeting. It was a one on one. And I heard a rumble. <laughs> I heard a rumble. Oh, like yes. A, I have never heard <laughs> come out of a human. <laughs> oh, fuck. It was like there was a 10 gallon drum. And a kangaroo bouncing around in it. <laughs> it's a country reference, Lou. It's gay from the bush. It was, I've never seen <laughs> butt cheeks tighten quicker <laughs> at the same time as this rumble. Oh my. And you said, excuse me for a minute. It was like we'd struck oil or something and it was about to burst. <laughs> you ran to the toilet with your hand on your bum in a pair of white jeans. <laughs> praying. That you got through that swinging door. I made it. It was. I made it. Oh my Holy god! Holy shit! So you were nearly <laughs> a fucking bed shitter, not a bed wetter. Oh, you were nearly a pants shitter. Yeah. Holy fuck! I mean, there was some. There was some oh. tougher days. I remember looking at you in the eyes, going, "I've got to go." Worse. Your eyes turned you were, brown. You were That's like, full on. Run. <laughs> oh my god! At one stage, I nearly put the fire warden hat on. And s- smash the emergency glass. I was the to fire clear the building. You were the fire I was fire the fire warden. <laughs> took your job to clear the building. Because <laughs> we had a stage three. We had a full brown out. <laughs> Fuck, that is funny. <laughs> Holy so shit. We didn't have those moments. Oh. We did. All ours were highs. Correct. We had a couple of downies. Couple of downies. Yeah. Yeah. Few, Few downies. Few downies. Yeah, yeah. You, but hey, I made it to the bathroom. Yeah. Proud of you. Not a good day to wear white jeans. Tough day. Well, you can't day. really plan that, can no, you? No, you can't. Can hit you at any stage. You can hit you I remember. <laughs> Who would have thought? Mate, I remember a oh. fucking a bit of a piss of yarn I was thinking about the other day when I was leaving Nova. Mm-hmm. So I was leaving, right? And I'd had a couple of ideas in my brain that I thought were good ideas. And me and Whippy used to sort of like, We'd yarn all the time mm. or whatever. He's like, man, if you have any, like, cool ideas, yeah. just let me know. Bring them in. And I go, yeah, fuck. I might as well. I said to Steph, I, th- I said, I think I'll go and fucking, um, before I leave, I said, I'll go and, like, pitch these ideas to Whipper, see what he reckons. <laughs> so I've done zero prep or anything. These were just ideas I had in my head. One of them was actually Great Australian Yarns. Yeah, I love that. The potty, yeah. So I was like, one of them was Great Australian Yarns. The other one was this, have you ever seen New Zealand Today? No. The, it's like, a, have you ever seen that, Tobbs? 
It's like, it's basically today. like this guy, Guy Williams. It's fucking hilarious. Oh, he, yes, yes. Guy I Williams, yeah, he does like, hilarious. goes to a small town and he, it's like, he's like an investigative journalist. But right. it's like, for who pooed in the local pool? <laughs> right. yeah. and it, 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 was, it was It low. was low. Who shat in the meeting uh, with... Yeah, <laughs> famous radio personality, <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> and he does it really well. It's hilarious, yeah, and I was like, "Fuck, it'd be good to do something like that in Australia, mm. an Australian version." And so I go, "Wait, mate, would you mind if we bloody um had a quick yarn for a leave? I just got a couple of things I want to run you by." He goes, "Yeah, absolutely." He goes, "This time, come up to the office and we'll have a yarn." Anyway, we go up there, and I didn't prep anything. I just had these ideas in my brain. Mm. I go, "So what I'm thinking is this." And I sort of run through Great Australian Yarns. He's like, oh, yeah, that's not a bad idea. And then I go, and then I'm also thinking this idea for like, you know, like a web series or a TV show. And I start running through the idea. And you know when you're going through it and you realise you're doing a very, very poor job? And Terrible I can, sell. I can see him sort of just, oh, yeah. just sort of glazing, <laughs> going, what is Guys happening to me? <laughs> to me. And I keep going. And I finish <laughs> the pitch. What did and I he say? goes, he goes, uh, <laughs> I'll do it. He's sitting there, he goes, so those are the two. <laughs> <laughs> Did I? Yeah, and he goes, all right, mate. Well, um, good luck with everything. And, oh. I, and I go, yep. And I go, all right, mate. Thank you so much. But he's like, yeah, mate, bloody good luck out there or whatever. Yeah. And I just walked out there like, that was one of the most fucking awesome. gut-wrenching experiences. <laughs> awesome. I just said all our moments were great. <laughs> hey, but that was great. That was great. Good luck out there, mate. Those are the two. Those are two. Right. Right. Get the fuck out. Have a good day. <laughs> Thank you, bloody prep <laughs> jar. Oh, I'm I on the go. Yeah. <laughs> I had a bad stomach. That oh, you were wearing white you jeans were, that day. Yes. You are about to burst. <laughs> yes. You are about to burst. It just made me laugh. Oh, made me giggle the other day. Very funny. Yeah, but, we you know, look. we're getting to that. Yeah. Yeah, that'll happen. Yeah, we're, we're getting, getting there. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting just there. Got the book out at the moment. Well, that's... We, we need to so, cut to the chase. Doing more of, doing more of that. Can I... <laughs> I bet they're flying off the shelves. So yeah. the book is called it's just non-stop. The book is called the Far Too Personal Trainer. Yeah, it's written as Ben Holder, who is the the protagonist, the main character. Okay, yeah. so <laughs> I love this sign. Could this be a bestseller yeah. sticker? It's <laughs> that's great. As it turns out, it can't. <laughs> The books are still on the shelves. Well, a little bit. So where did we get where did we get the idea? Um, yeah, I need to know how the whole thing was. Born. And this is, is I it think because important. personal trainers always try and fuck people. Yeah, yeah. Outside okay. of that, nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I was. I, I think this is the important thing to mention. It's a real book, and it's a guy who made an effort to sell. Okay. And write mm-hmm. the next Fifty Shades of Grey. Gotcha. It's got a story. Yep. It's not just oh, I'm excited. wild bonking. So is not it not just sucking and sorry, sucking and fucking. So, no. That, not well, just that? There's a bit of sucking and fucking. Well, it's it's more than your standard cheap old porno that you might watch where a guy knocks on the door of the motel and he's not wearing any pants. Gotcha. It has a story. <laughs> okay, Who's love that it. Famous um whip up. <laughs> this is a famous author. Oh, he's sitting right in front of us. J.K. Rowling. No, the guy with the long, luscious hair, Fa- George Fabio. George R. R. Martin. Fabian. Fabio. Was Fabio. Not an author. Fabio. No, he's a model. He's a most is that kind of wasn't an author. No, but he was on the front cover. Clarification: of those books. If you're on a, a if you're he was on the, on the cover of those books. He was a model. Would have been used, author. yeah. But he never That's wrote what it. I meant. As th- those are erotic novels. This is the they? new MDG is the new Fabio. Yeah, he's the new Fabio. <laughs> but so it's a real book. But I wrote it about ten years ago. Did you? Yeah. Wait, I didn't know you wrote it that Started long ago. Started a long time ago. And it took a long time to write it because you Must get be half good. A, halfway through a story and you're going to help yourself. Yeah, you've got to crank one out. <laughs> when the writing's that good. It gets you going too much. Joke. And you know it's, it's in your own mind. Sure, it's a joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what was interesting was we were away in New Zealand, mm. my wife and I, and she was reading some of uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. I'm going, this gear's pretty heavy. Mm. Now, I thought, how hard could that be to do? You know when you have those moments? And it's it's like when you go to a gallery and the canvas is just splashed. I'm with you. Yeah, I could do that. Do you know the difference between you doing that and that person doing that and being an artist is the fact that they did it. Correct. And Mm. you didn't. Correct. So I'd done that. You did that. (laughs) I'd done it. Good. (laughs) I'd done done that. So I wrote porn on that. (laughs) 
I got that. I know what that does. <laughs> right, porn. <laughs> me got how? cock. <laughs> me got pen and hand. Me right root yarn. Yeah. Okay, how, cool. How Thank much you. of it are you reading out on Nova? Like there can't be oh, a lot of it. That's the thing. You can't you, read much? No, kids in the car. Mm. Kids in the car. Well, Guess you know what? what? We don't have technically. No children. Kids in the car. I, like, I think we'll get to the excerpts. Mm. If I'm that's even how so you pronounce that I don't know word. that word either. Excerpts? Excerpts. 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 Isn't it E-X-E-R-E-T-S? I think it's E-X-C-E-R-P-T-S. Guys, I'm not here to spell. Excerpts. You're here to, you're here to pitch. I'm here to push. Here to pitch. Here to pitch. Tell, you give us a okay. synopsis blurb. Ben Holder. Mm-hmm. He's 26 years old. Oh, yeah, he's good young. Age. Good looking rooster. Okay. So he's my age. You can, I can roll yeah, out. Yeah, nice, mate. Um, and he uh, is ripped. Okay. Now, Similar to you. Yeah. Very similar. But what happens is these women... Who are married? Okay. Get the personal trainer. Oh. They live in a very exclusive part of Sydney in yep. Sydney's east. Rose Bay. Right. You'd know that. Um, you'd know a know lot about that. Eastern suburbs. Okay. And um, congratulations on the new styling of the apartment as well. Yeah. Are we not sick of that, Judge? <laughs> <laughs> I get it. You yeah. got a book that says Capri on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Capri, oh, mate. Sweet. You got another white pot plant. Oh, great! Shit, you fucking asshole. Hey, I've been to Coco hey. Republic as well, mate. <laughs> The chicks will love it. You blokes don't understand. Oh, no, I do like it. <laughs> Very I, do, rude. I do love it. I love it. So does Jill. But so this guy, he has these married women hit on him all the time. Yeah. Because their successful husbands are only interested in hanging out with the blokes. Yeah. Or hanging out of the bloody Finance secretary bros. work. <laughs> Hang on a minute out yeah, there. Sorry. How dare yeah. you put facts in the story? <laughs> They bankers, they finance bros. Yeah, you know the type. Yeah, I Dusty know nostrils. I know the So anyway. <laughs> Very well. Dusty so anyway, nosies. they're not paying their wife any attention. Uh-huh. Yeah. All of a sudden, the personal trainer, Ben, makes their wife feel great about themselves. Correct. What do you think happens next? Coitus. Sucking Guess where this ends up? Consensual yeah. coitus. Consensual. Woo. Coitus. So then... What happens is Ben doesn't treat women all that well, but he feels like he's being used as well. Yeah. You know, there are times where I don't particularly like the character. He's a bit of a smart pants. Okay. So, oh, so, but then boy. you find out halfway through the book that he was what – nearly blew off with the fan. So he, well, I'm just listening, nearly blowing off him. He, was, he had his heart broken <laughs> by this girl, Emily Shine, oh. that he was completely in love with. Emily took off and married someone else. M. What happens next – You'll have to bloody go to the far too personal uh, trainer.com to find uh, it. Love that. We you love it. I mean? That's a good He's bit. an author. You've earned your diary yeah. He's bloody phenomenal. So, anyways, but when you get to know Ben and the way he handles himself with a couple of these women, that's when it gets a bit hot. Okay. Mm, why do you keep adjusting your top? Are you uncomfortable at the top of the He's getting a little toe. So sorry. Okay. Just things are getting heated up with old Ben over here. Correct. Well, let's not, it has nothing to do with that guy you went out with who was a serial cheater. His name, Tobler. He was I, addicted to affairs. Yeah. I, I, I reckon when you meet a guy called <laughs> that's when you know it's timed up. <laughs> yeah. This chat's not going that's, any further. That's probably the first red flag. If you stick around. I didn't even think at the time. Didn't What's think that? that it rhymed with No one that? else said, I've got an issue. His name's No one else. A lot of beeping in this one, kid. Same. Yeah, poor, poor Tobler. That's a tough Same header. rule applies for Kevin's. Yeah. Disagree. Or if their name's Stephen, but they pronounce it Stephen. So if you hooked up with a Kevin. <laughs> Kevin's my koala. She's got three koalas. Koala I sleep with. Um, well, the only person who sleeps with me. It probably comes to that moment where we consider. Can we? I mean, I'm not here to steer the podcast. Listen, I, I mean well. I, no, this is great for someone who's worked in breakfast radio. We need a bit of steering, a bit of structure. I right. want, I want you to read. Look, Me? I've been. I've, oh, can I read? That's what we're reading. I'll tell you what. Oh, shotgun read I, first. No, I want to. Ah, what I've done you. here. Yeah, show I've, us. I've, whips. A, I've marked a couple of spots. <laughs> 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 Mark a couple of books. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, another sale. <laughs> He's done it. Another sale of the book. Right. Now, this helmet. I just thought I'd introduce the helmet too quickly. Okay. okay. Now, the helmet. Not the, your helmet. Yeah, no, no, no. This helmet here. You've, okay, just for the audio. He's listeners. got an actual helmet. We're the Bangs with the J car. Now, um, this right, right is light. So if it gets too spicy, that's your warning light. Okay. Yep. And then if I need to jump in over the top because it's just far too crude. 
The siren oh comes on. Okay, days. Shit. Okay, right. prep so, the bedwetters. Shit. Here we go. Alrighty. Get All right. your helmet on. Here we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, it okay. looks good. Everybody feeling safe enough? Yep. You've got to have protection okay. going into this reading. Correct. So what I've done... <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad, are you proud of me now? <laughs> He's so, made it. He's an it's author. It's so heavy on my head, I can't move my neck. There's a 12-volt battery Well, how about back. you read the first one? Re- okay. Re- you, you looks like you've got some tabs in yeah, there. Should we start with some of the less steam? Oh, yeah. Okay, and then we, we'll, 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 we'll knock it up every time. Up. We'll work our way okay. up. We'll work our way up like Emily exits. Shine used to work her way up, Ben Holder's shaft. Okay. Oh, it's very good. Thank you. Now, this helmet is mouth. actually making hey. me feel physically sick. Okay. <laughs> I'm not lying. If I vomit, stick with me. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Okay. So the scene is here that he lives next. He lives next door to a woman who's a flight attendant. Yep. And she's married to a cheese ball who wears a Louis Vuitton belt, and he's a magician. <laughs> And she okay. got to know Ben. Yeah. And Ben, they exchange numbers. Uh, and when Ben's up in his room, he can look across to the other house and she knows he's watching. Oh, Ooh. she can. He, yeah, okay. Love this. Sounds Till hot. things get a little bit weird. Oh, Judge, my, get your hands up. Sorry, sorry hands. just get your Sorry. Hand up. Hands up. Okay, I'm just going to take the helmet off. It's bloody killing me. <laughs> okay, should I wear the helmet for this? If you wouldn't mind. Yeah. It's pretty heavy. That's fair, mate. You got it? No, just remember, got a just remember, right is light. Okay, <laughs> right is go. light, left is loud. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Lou, could you do a bit of an introduction here? We've got um, Michael Whitfley reading an excerpt from the far too personal trainer on the We Mean Well podcast. <laughs> to make matters work. It's, oh shit. <laughs> Great stuff. <laughs> Great stuff. <laughs> I read the book. Start. Can't even read the fucking thing. <laughs> I can't read. Okay. Jeez, I can write. <laughs> okay. To make matters worse, as he as he stared at me through the window, so this is because the husband's come home, right? Yeah. And realise that she's... She's doing it on purpose. Yeah, she's looking at him. Ben. Yep. All right? um, to make matters worse, as he stared at me through the window across the top of the hedge from one house to the other, his Louis Vuitton belt buckle shining perfectly, like always, he screamed at the top of his lungs, You're fucked. <laughs> Unlike the music that she had on, I could I couldn't hear I couldn't quite hear. I clearly understood the your fucked finger with a laser beam like shot straight through my head, like a targeted execution from a trained sniper. But it wasn't until your fucked was I realized that he was on the way over to my house. Pulling up my pants, I stumbled out of the room, steam coming out of this guy's ears, and he remained what's this? And the only remaining lonely hair on the top of his head Oh, man, he knew the days were numbered. He stormed from his living room straight out the front door and headed towards our place. Here I am on a Sunday morning. Obviously, I wasn't expecting him to be home. Mum and Dad weren't expecting their son to be wanking in the upstairs room. There's a warning. Warning lights on. I didn't know what to do. I remember thinking, don't wake Mum and Dad. Don't wake Mum and Dad. I'll be busted. But it was too late. Bang, bang, bang. He knocked on the front door. The whole house was shaking. Bang, bang, bang. I was racing down the stairs, not knowing what to do, and I just wanted to stop. He was banging on the door for a third time. Just fucking stop. I could hear Mum saying, what's going on? What's going on? Ben, are you all right? Dad was doing up his bathrobe. He was marching towards the front door. He walked past me. Whether he could uh, he could see by the look on my face and the semi I had tucked back into my pants, he knew. Thank you for the light. I knew um, he knew that who was ever whoever was at the front door was there because of me. I'll handle this, Dad said. And like a shy young kid who just wanks at windows, I hid down the hallway. <laughs> Wow, what a man my dad is. He had no idea what I'd done and no idea what was on the other side of that door, but he bravely marched towards it. With his chest out and wearing nothing but a Kmart bathrobe and a pair of slippers from a work conference, Aloha Hawaii 92, he opened the door. From down the hallway and peeing around the corner like a naughty little school kid, I could see his face I could see his cold breath in the still air. Yelling in Dad's face came the words, your son is wanking at my wife. He is upstairs staring at my wife, masturbating. 
<laughs> yes, it sounds funny now, but it wasn't at the time. Mum was standing a little further down the hallway, closer to me. I was just awkwardly looking at her, and I could see that she wasn't impressed by, mas- by <laughs> masturbation. <laughs> okay, thank you. Again, as Dad had misheard him or couldn't comprehend, he yelled, Your son's been pulling his dick at my window and staring at my wife. Dad clearly understood what had been going on here. He might have been my dad, but we were now in the category of men. And even in his parenting position, he completely understood what was going on. 80s BMW man stood there waiting for his reply. And with a simple line, you're embarrassing yourself, Dad shut the door. Well played, Kenny Holder. (laughs) Kenny! All right, so that's sort of your... (coughs) <coughs> okay, that's like your low tier. Yeah, now I've got an option here, depending on who would like to read yep. next. We could jump to a seven yep. or a nine or a ten. I reckon we go seven, then ten. Shotgun doing the ten. Fuck you. I've I got to get it. it. Fine, I'll do the seven. Okay. Here's a seven. Um, the seven, you'll see a little marking there. It's probably best to go from. Thank Start you for the help. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Right, Is that a little mark there? So is yep. Ben living with his parents or was that a flashback? Well, that was a flashback. Gotcha. Yeah. He lives with his mate Mono. Gotcha. Mono oh. struggles with the ladies. He's yep. only got one nut. And one eyebrow. That's why he's called Mono. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Okay. Can okay, someone introduce me, please? <coughs> um, Lou Daldin, not Indian, um, for a reading of the far too personal trainer. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. She was leaning back against the table, lifting her dress higher and higher. I could tell where this was going. As a young guy, I didn't know whether to turn on the lights and do the same or call the boys to come round, hide in the dark and order some pizza. I sat there as she continued to lift her dress higher and higher until it passed her hips, giving her legs freedom to move. Remembering I had stared at her ass and wondered what was under... Lights on. Lights are on. Lights on. (laughs) Wondering what was underneath that dress the first time I noticed her on the plane. I couldn't believe what I was about to see. She leaned back onto one elbow and slowly slid her hand inside her white lacy G-string. What? Dragging her finger all the way up until she would intensely arch her back. There were moments as a man where you think you'd died, you'd died and gone to heaven. For the next ten minutes, she lay back on the table and played with herself. <laughs> God, just jumping in there. We're just a bit hot on. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. <laughs> Starting just... slow and staring up at the window, her focus continued to change from knowing I was there to forgetting all about me. One hand was inside the top of her uniform, rubbing oh. her breast, <laughs> while the other hand was working faster and faster until her legs hung in the air. Yep. Knees bent and shaking. It was amazing watching a woman lose herself. It's oh. the best thing in the world. Louisa. What are you t- <laughs> Louisa. You filthy animal. What Jeez. book is this? Are you right? And although we were playing Neighbourhood Watch, Who's the best game ever, sitting there in the dark made me feel like I was do- what I was doing was wrong. But like any good show, I knew it was over. And when she turned off the lights and walked out of the room, I know what you're thinking. And yes, of course I did. Oh, yes. wow. Okay. It's very, That's it's very, heavy. Oh my it's very God. articulate. Yeah, can I grab a single malt it's and a Marlboro? Oh, it's very my good. God. Oh, my God. Okay, so what do you want to do, Jarch? I'm going for Was that a seven? It was a seven. I'm going hell for leather. Going straight ten. I'm going ten. I'm going exactly what my missus is, and I'm going a straight ten. It's very good. Shout out to You Steve. don't have to say that. Shout out to, yeah. Correct. You were just saying you'd prefer to be gay. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. We've yeah. got uh, Mr. Jack Edward Archdale here reading an excerpt from the far too personal trainer for Michael Whitfley and myself, Louisa Claire Delton. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Fuck, I think I'm going to explode. Not yet, not yet. Think of something. Her butt cheeks are slapping against me, rippling at the point of impact. I can feel my balls swinging into her at the same time. Shit, <laughs> fuck, can't control yourself. Do what you'd normally do. Think of football. What about when the dog died? Think of your granny doing a shit in a fish tank. I don't know. Do something. Stop. What, did she read my mind? No more. What's wrong? Was it the sweat on her lower back? I'm not going to come like this. Put it in my ass. Oh, my. You reckon it's loud? You should hear it when it's on your Fuck off, mate. When this fucking hits the bed when it is. Oh. Do you mind if I just keep going? Please. Continue. A little further? Okay. It's just like he's going to do? Please, please, Doth, continue. Wow. What? Hang on. Replay that in my mind. 
put it in my ass. Confirming the correct message was heard loud and clear, not lost in translation or scrambled through interference, just waiting on the official answer from my third umpire. Here it comes now, confirmed. Put it in my ass. <laughs> message is loud and clear. What are you waiting for? Put it in. Hurry up. We don't have long. God. I was always nervous it won't fit. Grabbing the end of my knob, I steer it towards All the back. Right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate. All right. All right. All right, big rig. All right. Oh. Anyway, that's he oh. meets this woman from New Zealand called Jill, and that part <laughs> is about Jill. Now, oh my God, is that really in there? That's in the book. I've got wow. to ask That's a what question. she actually asked. Oh my God, Whipper, I've got to ask you a question. Yeah. Where are you usually writing the book? Uh, <laughs> in public, fully erect. <laughs> usually What's six to nine. <laughs> um, I'm Nova just I'm when Justin Bieber's on. It's good stuff. Here we go. Oh, I uh, thought that was oh, a 69 joke. No. It no, was unintentionally. You're that funny, oh, unintentionally. It's very good. Oh, that was it. How was that for you guys? Mate, I I'm, actually I'm, would love a durry. I was getting dizzy. I was getting really I'm excited dizzy. to read it. I'm excited to right now. Oh, my God. Okay. Sorry. Um, Keep it in your pants, please. No, it's been out for the last 17 minutes. <laughs> What's exciting is thinking as we move forward. What's the movie going to look like? Oh, you know, oh surely she movie. can get a role as anal chick. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to have to audition you. There's a couch over here. You can make up to $5,000. You can make between fifty and dollars and $1,000. All right. Um, just have to make sure you're comfortable. So, Tobbs, can I just confirm? Fuck Do we have to put like a warning on an episode? Well, Probably. We, you know, no, I think it's like <laughs> we've got words? the explicit. No, we can beep be words, but we're it's not beep. Oh, mate, we're not children. Way. That's got bum gear in the it. The only yeah. word we're beeping is Tobbs. Tobbs. Oh. On the beep. Tobbs. There's no beeping involved here. My God, mate, I think I love that. Who wants that. to wrestle? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, Jesus uh, Christ. Do you know what? I've got oh. my mum ringing me saying, can't wait to read the book. Oh, oh no. mum. No, no, you no, can't no, no, have no. your mum reading that. No, you cannot. Have you heard any feedback from friends or family who've read it? Well, there's been, the, the problem is, there's been a small issue with what they call customs here in Australia. Oh. So when things come in from overseas, so a bit of a delay on getting the roll out of the books. Okay. Pre-sale. Yeah, pre-sale is a great term to use if there's a delay. Correct. Mm -hmm. um, so no, I haven't had too much feedback. Maybe that's a good thing. Has Lisa, your wife, read it? She has read parts of it. Uh -huh. Yep. Has she read the bit that... Judged. No, she's you, not you, aware. This will be the first time she hears it. But she loves this podcast. Yes, of course she will. She's a huge fan big of big fan of this. Bought the calendar online. Oh, did she? Oh, did she? Yeah, big sweet fan. Of sweet it. Yeah, it'll look yeah. nice in your Rose Bay house. Well, it's in the office hanging. that you shot it in. True. <laughs> <laughs> Little bit would look How good. How funny! And just in case you run out of bog roll, mate, you got a you got a calendar. How funny was it? People <laughs> on that the ad, comments. People go, hey. That looks like the guy from the radio. Hilarious. And then, but a lot of because we do this breakfast radio joke all the time. The um, a lot of the bedwetters were just like, I just have zero idea how they would get breakfast radio icon uh, just Michael Whipper Whipfully congratulations roughly. into the video. Wow, how did they do that? Absolutely what did you pay? Wild. You guys have no affiliation with breakfast radio. What? What? Absolutely none. <laughs> none at all. <laughs> um, so, so the Misso uh, Misso hasn't read, read part the book. of it. But she she what read a sex kids? scene, but she also thought it was funny. Yeah, the, you the give boys it to the kids? Read? No. Okay. No. Well, that'd be a good one for what a little bit of homework. It's not a scratch and sniff. Well, let's hope not. Especially <laughs> the scene I just read. I mean, it <laughs> it's not a dot to dot. What's that? A flower? It's a dot to dot. <laughs> Oh my god! Sorry. <laughs> oh, there's so many things you can say. I know they're coming out of me oh like. Oh my god! Like Ben Holder's frothy ejaculate. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> what? Benny Holder. More time training, less time draining. He's a bit of. <laughs> Is it too late to put that on the back? <laughs> that would be great. It'd be great. Oh you'd mate, just, you just hope your mum and dad are proud of you at the end of the day. <laughs> Can I give you that tip? Like, Mine aren't. No, <laughs> they will be after that book. It's, it's flying off the shelves, obviously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, the thing is, it's nearly sold out. And here's the bad news. Okay, it's only five hundred copies. Okay, numbered and signed, limited edition, fair income. Yep. Is that true? Okay. Yep. Only five hundred. Now, Shit. are they available right now? Right now. To, so Tell whether us you get where. Them. 
far too personal. Tra- the far too personal trainer dot com. Let's get the website right. <laughs> the far too we'll, personal We'll put a link com. as well to yeah. boost the. Well, right. you won't need it, but if yeah. you need some help boosting, what those we could sales. do too. I mean, how much is your calendar selling for? Thirty-five. How much is your book selling for? Twenty-six. Check. Okay. You want to do a package deal and round it out at fifty. We've got a bundle going on here. You want to bundle it? You want a little bundle this bitch? You want to bundle up Benny? I'm not afraid to bundle. You, you, you've never been scared of a bundle. You knew I was ready to bundle. I knew you were ready for, to bundle from Let's day Let's get ready to, to bundle. bundle. Let's do a bundle. That was actually something that I had to do at Nova. What? In sales. That was their term. Bundle. Really? For Cause a package? Because you're selling... You're selling yeah. Coles Radio, you're mm. selling Spots and Dots, you're selling sponsorships, promotions, you're selling digital, mobile. Mm. They're like, let's bundle people. Yes. Bundle. Let's bundle. Bundle deal. Bundle. Do you remember when you had like, you like you had an operation on the back of your neck? Yeah, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. When oh. he was at work and he's like, he goes, oh, I think the stitches have fallen out. <laughs> and the back of his head had opened up. <laughs> yeah. Just like, a black... Crevice. It's like that big, Lou. Like yeah. the scar was that big. You I think see, he got hit with yeah, the scar. Yeah, and the stitches just came out. I think he got hit with a tomahawk or something. Yeah, no, was, I was fighting a bloody croc. And was there a massive yeah. scar? Yeah. Oh, and was it there blood everywhere? Up. It was too deep for it to bleed. Oh my god, I lost oh, my car that makes keys you in there. Yeah, up. I remember. Not only your car keys, oh you saw god. it. You saw an opportunity and you took it. it. Was it's extreme. actually in the book. <laughs> that was the unedited version. A you gash opened up bit. in the back of his neck. And it neck. was really, we don't go into that chapter. <laughs> ben leaves that one out. Yeah, he didn't cut that in the editing. Ben, He'll do, do anything, mate. Ben, but he won't do that. I do, <laughs> I do remember that. <laughs> Fuck, I actually had some great times working at Nova. Yeah. So, you, Sorry, guys, I don't know if you know at, this. Yeah. I worked at Nova Entertainment. That, cause Not unlike m- Michael works there well, now. I still work there, yes. Sorry? So, Michael's on Fitzy and Whipper. Right, yeah. so I'm you're Whipper the, from the Fitzy Breakfast. Whipper Kate Ritchie show. That makes sense. And then yes. I used and then to you be there. W- when what was your role? Oh fuck! <laughs> Producer. Okay. So what slot? B- breakfast Bre- with right. with Michael. Shimmy so, timbers. So I would often bring him long blacks. So I didn't know whether you were. And what coffee would he order? Bang bangs. <laughs> so you would <laughs> bang bang. You worked on that show. I can. Conf- I was on Celebrity Apprentice as well. Right, Should Michael. Have won it. So uh, top five. So run me through why you didn't win that. No, I didn't want to. Yeah, but I, I get thought. It. Yeah, I, I thought that was the case. For a fixed amount. It's all rigged, and now, obviously you, Channel Nine talent won it. You're also the guy who sent spaghetti into space. <laughs> Correct. Now right. I didn't come on here to push Big John's tomato spaghetti, but, but no one else it. has done that. Inadvertently, you have done that. <laughs> yeah. So I, what it is? I mean, it's really cute that you had a producing role, and it's great. We have a lot of kids come through. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It's really great that you had a producing role, but I didn't know what form of entertainment because uh, I'm an author, I'm a radio, I'm a TV guy, yeah. and a, or I'm a content muncher. <laughs> he bundles it up and munches. Oi, <laughs> 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 Whip, mm. how did you actually get into right? Because were you were you in what were you, were you in construction management? Big time. You were? Yep. Wait, can you tell the story? <coughs> you got fired, didn't you? Yeah. Can you please tell that and then, <laughs> d- and then now look now look at you? Well, it was hard. You know when you get a job through, um, you got a horse running or something? No, you fucking. Got on. Sorry, mate. I, my manager texted me. It's fucking. Oh, you got a manager? Yeah, oh, mate. It's so oh, big deal. Congratulations no, on this thanks, success. Big thanks so much. Heineken mate. again? <laughs> <laughs> got her a beauty. What a green explosion. Oh, no, that was a different one. Yeah. She's got so many on Sorry. the go. Sorry, mate. Sorry. Just non stop. Um, <laughs> anyway, what the problem was, uh, they got me in and I got the job through a mate's dad. You know, one of those ones. Oh, he, yeah. he can do yeah, it. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's done the course. Yeah. yeah. I've done the course terribly. Terribly. So I may as well have done a hairdressing course. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> yeah. Check us a brick, Mick. <laughs> Isn't that what we all say around here? Chuck is a brick meat. So I was like project manager on a $200 million site. Oh, at least all the builders respect the project manager. Don't they? They love them. <laughs> and I look great in a suit and tie. Especially if you don't know what the fuck you're doing. So I would turn up to these meetings and sit in the boardroom, and my job was to take minutes. Now, as you'd notice with the small reading, can't read, can't write, can't spell. Perfect. So all I did... Fall asleep. <laughs> Are you serious? Couldn't stay awake. Could fall asleep anywhere. So I would start eating the biscuits on the table. Yeah. And I'd be ploughing through, yep. you know, 20 Anzacs. Yep. And drinking water to try and stay awake. Going, sorry, can I stop you for, for a minute? How did you want me to minute that? <laughs> what did you want? What do you want written down? 
<laughs> you're out of, you're out of biscuits. Is that a, also, it's not for the minutes. So I would fall asleep. <laughs> right, okay. And then, so I'd fall asleep. Yep. Then I'd write the minutes. And they were yep. all wrong. Yep. And I'd send them all out. <laughs> and then when I got into radio, this guy started working in audio production. And he came and he goes, my dad, my dad said he works with you. And I went, oh, yeah, in what capacity? He said, I don't know. He said he wasn't sure what you did, bro. <laughs> According to him, you just ate cookies and fell asleep. <laughs> He's got the right guy. <laughs> He's got the right guy. Oh, that's fucking anyway, up. the guy said, I don't think it's working. And I said, that's the best observation you've made this it, week. Is I'm that asleep. right? Mm, so how long did you do it for? Oh, six months. Oh, fair dinkum. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Six months. Um, and then, oh, So you lasted like a while. Yeah, Dad was proud of me. Yeah. And then I, for the week... After I got fired, I still put the suit on. Oh, you have a good day too, Dad. Did ya? I'm heading out. I got the another big meeting. Project to manage. Got to keep this city building. <laughs> well, pretending that you hadn't been fired. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? And then what was your first radio job? Port Augusta. Yeah. Which is South Australia, middle of nowhere. Yep. I just sent out demos. So really? Who wants the big rig? Mm. Yeah. And they rang they and flying. said, yeah, we'll, yeah, yeah, straight yeah. away. We'll take yeah. anyone. So I moved into Port Augusta, a town of 30,000. Okay. And um, it was great. Did you it love was, that? Oh, yeah. City slicker heading to Port Augusta. No, you're a bushy, mate. Um, it was great. Took the tinny with me. Um, caught a lot of crabs. <laughs> <laughs> caught a lot of crabs. Yeah. And um, did a bit of fishing. Well, from who? <laughs> blue swimmers, mate. Ah, okay. All oh, right. Yeah. Blue swimmers. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Lou. Sorry, um, blue swimmers. There's a cream for that. And um, <laughs> did a lot of fishing. Um, so, yeah, but you know what? I had this girlfriend at the time, and I don't know why, but I bought her a plant for her birthday. Yeah. I don't know why we didn't last. And when I got up there, this plant was for sale. Sorry, this plant where ev- plants were everywhere, but I paid $1,000 for this plant. Fucking Jesus Christ. Then I got up to this town, and these plants were everywhere. So I would go around on the weekend... And say, hey, knock on your door. Hey, that plant in your front garden, do you want that? Because i got a six-pack for you, mate. And he'd go, I'll take the beers. And I'd have the spade in my hand and then the shovel in my hand. I'd dig it out of his front yard. And then I'd take it to my yard. And then when I came back to town, I'd just put them all in the tinny and drive back across the border. You're a fucking genius. Had a giant plant sale. (coughs) You're a genius. Yes. And then took that money and put it into the printing for this. (laughs) God, you've always been an entrepreneur. (laughs) You've been saving up for this since Port Augusta. my second book, From Plants to Pornos, <laughs> is a real journey. Is Ben still the character or have you got a different character? Yeah, he's a character. He's a plant guy. Yeah, yeah, he's a plant so, guy. So, I mean, anyway, enough about me. You don't have to bring up bloody Shark Tank and all of that sort of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? What was on Shark Tank? You're on Shark Tank, it's were you, mate? very good. Were you on Shark Tank? Yeah, I knocked back a few offers. Right. Come up with the mup. If you're not familiar with the MUP, which what was cup? the coffee cup with a mint in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, it remember dropped. It. Yeah. No, no you, I had it on the bottom. Yeah, and you peel it out. So once, once you've had your coffee, if you want your fresh breath. The mi- m- y- y- MUP. Yeah. Oh. MUP. MUP. Yes. So what are you- So what happened with the MUP? Well, the yeah. orders are still coming in. Okay, mate. Same as the book, flying off the shelf? Well, yeah, yeah. There's a bit of an issue with customs. <laughs> yeah, the China. Customs again. will get you. Jeez, China's just, out of mints. Oh, it's just yeah. so. I heard that. I read that in the you know what I mean? Sydney Morning Herald You did, actually. Yesterday. I yeah. think I told that You've on the podcast. You've never read a newspaper. Never. That is uh, very accurate. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, correct. <laughs> no, you read the Chinese Continental. I read <laughs> horoscopes uh, every now and then. Yeah. You're big into astrology, are you? You're a big astrologer. I bet girl. you did that growing up. I bet you read, like, if you were interested in a guy, you would have read his astrology to what see. What do you what mean, growing up? Oh. I you bet you do that, read well, someone's. Read that. I'll find out what this I'm a Libra. I'm a Libra. And I'm married. What is. The, we're the same. Yeah. A Libra? Yeah, that's why we kiss. Libra. Isn't it Libran? Libran. Libra? Libra. Libra sounds like a. Well, I'm a, a Scorpio. Uh, brand. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a Scorpio, so I've got a sting. Really? Yeah. But I'm not your standard Scorpio. What the fuck does that mean? Scorpios are meant to be like aggressive and like evil. It's not Oh, me. it's a bit of you. It's, excuse me. You're an evil bitch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, watch your language. You f- fucking pig. The, oh, see what I mean? So sorry. If you, I, I need you guys to calm down. Yeah, but so do you see what I have to do? Yeah, yeah I'm so sorry. That's okay, to this. A guy from the country. Oh, I don't need that. You know stress. what I mean? I'm just trying to make it in the beast, mate. Trying to put a meal on the table. Correct. Guys. Right? How many... 
sheep are we going to shear today, mate? Yeah, exactly. You Too know, many. and this mm-hmm. is the shit I have to deal with. Oh, the I mean, it's, it's like two just... bloody city slickers. Do you know what? Well, I went out for lunch like... with her a while ago. Yeah. She wanders up to this guy that she knows has got a bit of cash. Said he I brought, says, said, I brought down the blue wiggle, mate. Huh? How good I, am. I brought down the blue wiggle. <laughs> she says, you know, I've really, I've always wanted a Rolex. He says, <laughs> I'll call the store now. You can go and get that Rolex. <laughs> she <laughs> says, turns to me and goes, do you think I can take his money? <laughs> and I said, do you want a sugar daddy? Not true. Isn't That's it? how you got your Rolex. That, I and paid then for this myself. You went down fuck. to the store. And what? And got the Rolex that another guy paid for. Oh, oh my off. God, you this scumbag. Fair and square from LDD's pocket. Wow. Talking in third person now. Very yeah. arrogant. <laughs> paid for. <laughs> The big dog. The big dog LDD. What was the last brand of shoes that you bought? You know those fucking things cost like $1,900. Do up? they? Hey, you want to say how much yours cost? I don't know. They're a gift. <laughs> those are a solid 800 Are they? That, but that is a... These are like 1100 mate. For sneakers. Converse One Stars, All Stars or whatever they're called. That's what they look like. Let me live. This is I why. I like nice things. That, they're not nice. They're just the same as any other. Do you sneaker. do what my wife does, yeah. where she will have a list, where she'll go, "Oh, I better reference the list if there's a gift on the way." <laughs> <laughs> Tell her to have a spreadsheet. <laughs> Tell her to send you a spreadsheet that you can edit as well. What? You can go in there and have a browse. Yeah, if you want a real sponta- spontaneous, beautiful. <laughs> do you know what happened one time? Wife and I went to the city. Yep. We were staying at a hotel for the night. We had too much to drink. We'd been to some of the nice shops. And she said, you know, I really want to get that bracelet. Really, really want to get that bracelet. I said, oh, honey, it's too expensive. Forget about it. We could give that money to charity or something. I've always... Oh, put geez. it into the book. Jeez, the, you know I mean? You're altruistic. Put it straight into the book. With you know, it. put it Pure into the altruism. book. Your altruism. Write the, next, write the next book. Get more money, put it to charity. So... <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we're swinging. We're so we're farm animals out there. Exactly. <laughs> Looking for new hoofs. And you were, you were buying a bloody bracelet. So it was <laughs> 10 to 6. We're in the city. <sighs> she said, I said to her, I'll do the deal. We'll go to that store. And if the store's still open when we get there, we'll buy the bracelet. It's 10 to 6. I've looked on Uber. It's a 20 minute cab ride. Love that. Home. You're on. We leave at 10 to 6. Store shuts at 6. We get there at 6.30. The lady closing the door slowly at the back of the shop sees Lisa at the front door. No. Starts waving. And I'm going, no, no, no. no, no. no, no. <laughs> Not on my watch. You can't open Not on this my door. bloody Rolex. You can't open this door. Your trading hours are done. Your week is finished. You get back. You get, get back. back in the back of the store. You, go you home. get back. You stay put. Hi, welcome back. No. Can have a look at the bracelets. No. It's a pricey dinner for you, isn't it? Fuck, mate. I'll never get over it. This is why we die younger. Neither do the animals. No. There are, there are farm All animals, the as you said, without book. hooves. Without hooves. The yeah. second book that you could have written and then more money to. At least she's happy. Yeah. Happy wife, happy life. And I got the girl at the shop sacked. <laughs> Well, she didn't turn up to work anyway. She, the gumboots were really heavy, if you know what I mean. Yeah, no one's actually seen her since. <laughs> you should never open that door after trading oh, hours. You it. foolish woman. Yeah, oh, my God, your shoes will be heavy. God bless the harbour. God bless her fucking heart that now doesn't beat. Oh, God. This is beat. I hope you're an organ donor. <laughs> Because someone's about to get a new life. <laughs> Don't you open that door. Yes, <laughs> she did. Anyway, I've been broke ever since. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least you got the book. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Far too personal far, trainer. The Thank far God. too personal trainer. If you want to get the book, Bedwetters, go to the far too personal trainer dot com. Dot a. Dot com. Dot com. International, mate. Dot com. International. International. Flying off the, flying off the show. When you have a bestseller. You know, you can't work just the local crowd. It's That's a, a great point. That's a, the, this Because this could be a bestseller. Yeah, it's huge in India. Huge I heard in that. India. I read about that in Sacred. the financial review. Like the cow. Like the cow. <laughs> I read that. Yeah. 
So you go to thefartopersonaltrainer.com to get this book. I really well enjoyed the well excerpts. Well done, Whip. Thank you so well much done, for Whipper. coming on. No, that's fantastic. You entertain Sydney every morning on But on should we do Radio. some hotlines with Whip? Yeah, great. Oh, yeah. Can yeah. yeah, we do that? You want to do that? Yeah. yeah. Whip's in here. Whoop. Might as well do a couple of hotlines while we got you. Love a hotline. This is just bedline, bed, bedwetters. Sorry, not bedlines. Bedwetters calling in, spinning some yarns. Let's just... See what they say. I'm going rogue great, with it. Great. What have we got? Let's see what we got. This one came in three minutes ago. Mm-hmm. Happy home day, senoritas. Um, I just wanted to say, I recently came over to Australia from Canada, and your guys' podcast was the first Australian media I listened to. Really helped me learn some of the slang, so thank you. Um, my red light, green light for you is eyebrow piercings. Bye. Love you so much. There we go. We got a fucking Canadian bedwetter. Thank Happy you so hump much day. for joining us. Red light, green light. It's a it's a red for me. I'm not a piercing girl. I had a belly button piercing when I was Did 15. You? What about? Look. I don't have any other piercings. Thank you very much, apart from my ears. No, your belly button piercing. I got it ro- rid of it. You got yeah. rid of it. Oh, sorry, yeah. I had it from like 15 to 17, but the hole's still there. But did you get infected? Did it like pussy belly button? No, I just didn't want to have a little dangly diamante anymore. Like, See, I like that. Do you know mm. I've got a real issue? Blokes with facial piercings. Yeah. Look, I've always thought to myself, Not for me "What either. are you doing?" I've always thought to myself, if you have an eyebrow piercing. It's just somewhere to get punched. Or ripped out. Or ripped out. Yeah. I saw that you at know the what I mean? See, ah. there you go. That's what I mean. Yeah, he had one on the eyebrow and he had three in his ear. And the guy grabbed the stretches. ear and ripped them out. Yeah. And yeah. he deserved it. Yeah. He earned I that. Yep. He earned that. He was blind, like literally. Okay. He had a cane and everything. He <laughs> couldn't see, so he didn't know what was coming. And to his defence, he didn't know how bad he looked. But, um, <laughs> You're so quick. Like, God, like... Guy, what's it for? What's it doing for? I saw an idiot at Byron Bay at that main pub there. Yeah. One time he got, came up from the beach and he was there putting his shirt on. He had those studs in his back. Bruh. Have you seen oh, those? Yeah, mate. And he couldn't get his t- his t shirt kept getting caught on them. Yeah, oh, he that, why? But he'd been lying in the sun and they were hot because oh. they were metal. Ow. Yeah, mate. Nah. You're nah. An idiot. Nah. They're red, 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 red. Very See, red. I, yeah, the eyebrow piercings for me is a it's a red yeah. day. Well, we all agree on something. We all agree. Yeah. Thank you, Canada. Thank, Thank you, Canada. Thank you. Thank you, Canada. Hey, it's as red as the maple leaf on your beautiful national flag. Well <laughs> said, mate. Thank you. I lift it's weights. Very mm. good. I do a lot of physical activity. But you <laughs> cannot tell. You look like you a You do lift weights. <clears throat> sorry, sorry. Hurtful. Now let's just let's just have fun. Yeah, with great. What are okay, you doing? Okay, ready. Stop. Very long. <laughs> we like them under forty five. How many are you? Oh, here we go. Too many. We get more on the show. Hey, so it fits you. We get Okay, Richie. Gachi, Lulu, you bedwetting cunt. <laughs> so I got a yarn for you. Fucking Sunday, I was bored as shit, shitless. Didn't know what to do. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll go to the pictures. I go on there. Go on to this new Napoleon movie. Anyway, shit movie. Don't recommend seeing it. But got to the end of the movie, and you wouldn't fucking believe it. It comes up saying, it dedicated to Lulu. Like, you can't believe it. This fucking brand new movie just come out. Got that fella that was in the Joker. I can't remember his name. Um, yeah, whole movie dedicated to Lulu. Like, Lulu. couldn't fucking believe it. Anyway, keep pissing. Isn't that cool? What a good yarn. Keep thank pissing. you, mate. Keep, keep pissing. pissing. Keep pissing. Right. That's okay. what we like to say. That's what we like Get to that say. on your shirt. Just yeah. keep pissing. Just keep mm. pissing. Um, I don't think Napoleon, <laughs> as one of the great leaders of history. I don't think at the time he was thinking of you. Uh, I would one? argue the same thing. Is he the one on the horse with yeah, like a with like a hat? A, yeah. I mean, will you look like if, a, you, if you you know who Napoleon is? Yes. Not dynamite. Not if dynamite, you, if buddy. Go, if you go to Paris, you'll see a city full of great parks and open spaces. That's so the troops could march through. That was his design. That was his thinking. You were nowhere in that plan. <laughs> nah. <laughs> he didn't go, well, he's going to love this in 2023. No, no, I think maybe he was just thanking two toilets. Yes. Thank you, That's that Lou and that Lou. Thank you, that. <laughs> Napoleon. Napoleon two Bonaparte, bowls. obviously, mm. uh, also notoriously well, it Italian been, at, by birth. Was could he? Have been Napoleon one of the Bonaparte. The Bonaparte. The actors, That's true. One of the actors. Or one Ridley of Scott, the, the director, could have mm. been thanking Lou Lou. A very short man, Napoleon, wasn't he? But myth busted. Not that short for the time, they reckon. Really? Yeah, he was like 5'8". What do you mean 
not that short. And for had the a time. hammer. Someone owns his cock. What do you mean not that short for the time? Well, he was well, five. He wasn't actually mm. that short. Six they call it an was, apo- Has six foot five men evolved over time? Yeah, they have. Are they you fucking? Bigger. Are you fucking? Okay, let's just breathe. Well, let's breathe. What? Let's breathe here. Well, well, let's. Yeah, yeah, we have gotten bigger and bigger and bigger, and we're getting bigger, and we're well, getting then, bigger. So what now? And, in 10 years' time, I'll be having ten to date... 10 years? I'll, okay, 100 years' time, I'll be having to date someone who's seven foot, and that'll well, be mate, short. Well, think mate, about, think about how much nutrition and medicine has improved well, in the last few hundred years. also think about the pesticides. Lou, fuck and hell, I will start. You know when people used to get married at sort of the age of 13? Yes. That's because their life expectancy was... 32. Yeah. <laughs> They didn't get mm. long. They didn't get a crack at it. I'll tell yeah. you what, they wouldn't be doing a podcast. Because mm. they correct. didn't have long to live. So I'm lucky. No. I'm okay, 30 single. Now we've got well. time to waste. <laughs> we got time to waste. Yeah. And Never. science is on your side, loser. <laughs> Lou. Sorry, Lou. <laughs> Lou. <laughs> Sorry. I, I got you back, mate. Thanks so much. I got you, Napoleon. Thanks so much. <laughs> good stuff. Seriously, if I was hammered, I would. But no, nah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck me, swing. I was sort of. All right. Okay, one more. All right, we'll do, <laughs> do one more. Loser. Okay, loser. All right. You got it. Oh, hey, guys. Um, long time listener, even longer time bedwetter. Okay. I was just wondering, do you guys have any experience in breakfast radio at all? Because I just feel like you two, like, would have experience in that. I don't know, but, like, would love to hear more about it if you have... Love you, Senorita. Love you, Senor. I don't think there's anyone. We've currently got Whipper on the program. Uh, <laughs> I don't think there'd be anyone in this room. Tobler, have you had any experience in breakfast radio? No, absolutely. No, not. so that would make okay. zero of us. Uh, I actually. Sorry. Well, uh, hold hang on. on a minute. Well, I, I I was uh, one of Whipper's producers for about two years. Holy shit! So wow. You, and what? Breakfast radio. <laughs> oh my. God. So we're both technically uh, oh my God. breakfast Shit. radio royalty, you could well, say. Well, I'm John Laws. <laughs> um, I've been doing this for 70 years now. So you're the king. Hello, world. So yeah, I'm the king. So we didn't have the golden mic for you. Get um, out. Yeah, I should leave. Um, Lou, let's, I mean, if we were to look at the actual experience, mm. how many years did you work at Nova? Like, how, how, how long was it? It was, it was one... One year and eight months. Was it really? What, is that all? Yeah. Oh. When I left. But you know what I'd love to do? I'd love to add up the days that you're actually there. Because to be employed is one thing. Yeah. To turn up yeah. is enough. Hey, That's correct. I would go out till 6am on a Saturday night and then arrive at the studio as the colour green on a Monday morning. Yeah. I'd be there. And go, Lulu's not well today. Yeah. Lulu's not well. Lulu's Lulu don't sick. do work today. No, she'd hey. go, I need, I need a um, Panadol. I need a hydrolyte and some Caniston cream. And then, and then Whipper goes, Mikey tired. No, I would not. <laughs> Mikey tired today. Mikey had whiskeys last night. You know, I got a photo. I got a photo, Judge, yeah. of Lou. Oh, God. I got a photo of Lou holding a pair of boots. <laughs> now. Have, we, have you spoken about this on the air yet? No. Spin it. It's not my place to tell the story. Oh, we'll come It's also now. not mine. We'll come now. Well, all I can do is offer a couple of headlines and some suggestions around what went wrong. Okay. Maybe I'll try and fill in the blanks. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm removing myself from this because I'll just not my idea. I'll just pipe in here and say there was a stitch up that I had planned as a breakfast radio producer. Yep. Congratulations. Thank you so much, So proud Michael. of you. Um, that went... Terribly wrong. It, it was executed. You can thank me. It was executed perfectly. Yeah. But the person who the stitch up was on, which wasn't Michael, they were limbless. They, <laughs> no one lost a limb. They, um, there was some some anger and some some tears. There were some tears. Oi, guys, you're tickling the rim. We'll Shove tell you it off in. Air. Save it for off air. Shove it in. Save it for off air. So anyway, it was to Can't do happen. with someone going on a TV show. And their audition for the TV show. Well, I need to be told this off the, because I'm. We so can't do this. We anyway, can't kiss the bedwetters and not fuck them. So we can't do this did, to them. It didn't go well. The, the outcome was tears, um, some emotional damage. So it never made it to air. <laughs> Once again, Judge, not one of my ideas. I, I removed myself from this. I was. It was a Dalton Spanish. I was never part of this, mate. No, I if was, I find out I where this whippers. idea came from. <laughs> Whippers, little minion. 
So I, was I was the little minion of the idea. Don't, yeah. put, don't put my name on it, mate. And I, yeah. Oh, no, right. and if I find out, till the day I die, <laughs> I will be looking for who first suggested this. And if I find them... You'd kill him. Backfist hammer. Fine. Yeah, backfist hammer. Back fist hammer. <laughs> Straight you know hammer. that Whipper does Ari Khan? Leave that out. So <laughs> Sorry. It's too dangerous. It's taking me back to well, breakfast radio. It's a Burmese radio. martial arts. Right. It's just taking me back to my breakfast radio. Anyway, there was a photo after this sort of um, rejected stitch up of Lou just holding a pair of army boots. <laughs> For the TV show that. And every so now and then. Person was meant to oh, God. And every now and then, when I feel it's appropriate, if Lou's feeling flat on a Sunday or something, I'll just send her the picture of her with the army boots. I don't know if you've checked, but Lou, Lou feels flat most days. Yep. Oh, don't, don't, don't. No, don't cry. Don't Not cry. now. Guess what? Well, you lack in tit, you make up with beautiful jawline and cheekbones, all right? I was unaware you were even referring to my huge double Ds. <laughs> we're dialed in. It's hard to, it's hard to run with these. Oh, uh, mate. It's, knock yourself out. She has. Yeah. She's chinned herself a couple it's, of times. It's very tough. It is tough. out. It's hard out here for a pimp. It is. Um, well, now I want to hear so the yard, many things so like let's wrap this up. Here. Let's wrap so this up much. like... The protagonist of the book, the far too personal trainer Ben Holder should, while yes. having consensual sex with some of his clients. Yeah, consensual. Correct. Buy the book on the far too personal trainer.com. Well Ladies and gentlemen, you, Whip, um, thanks, Whip. Well done, Whip. This was a what lot of fun. No, God. Hey, guys, we mean well. <laughs> <laughs> now shut, shut up. Shut the fuck out. up. Can I get out of here? This yeah. is shit.